After watching the last episode of Stranger Things, I was shocked by how well executed this season was. I laughed, I cried, and I think the actors knocked it out of the park. Netflix said that season 3 broke all the records, but they forgot to mention that it broke our hearts too. After watching that sad ending, I did what any normal banana would do. I locked my room and stayed depressed for 60 hours. And you know when you accidentally click on a Stranger Things clip and suddenly the algorithm gods decide to bombard you with Stranger Things videos? I watched so many of these to the point that I was entering another dimension. The upside down, if you will. The recommended videos started to get darker. Ready? And darker. Look how many people are going up because of my. Oh, Snapchat. look, everyone's. Oh, look at me. Look how famous I am. Is that it? Best best you are the best. Don't! Millie! Don't do that! I was surprised to see all different kinds of people hating on Stranger Things kids with absolute passion. Apparently, it's been an ongoing issue since a couple of years at this point, and Millie Bobby Brown is the main target. This clip was just two weeks ago. Cyberbullying online is one of the most stressful things in the whole entire world for me because I can't get it in my head how somebody could sit behind a screen and hate for so long. So damaging to not only that person but, but to the other people who are doing it too. My goal in this video is to try to explain why this is happening in the first place. And more importantly, is this hate justifiable? Find out in this episode of Kotskazak on a Budget. Let's start with the weakest criticism in my opinion. People say that they are rude, they interrupt each other during interviews, or sometimes they totally ignore the other person, like what happened with Noah recently. A little blood up the nose. Just, I was with my parents, so okay. it was fine, I, I could go with, but the first movie that I ever sn snuck into. But I've never had to sneak in. Well, I bought it, I had already seen Inside Out, which is, and, and so we, <laughs> I, I, okay, so I had seen Inside Out, and the plan was to, yeah, is to buy Inside Out tickets. First of all, these kids go through a lot of stress when doing a press tour. And even then, they seem to have great chemistry most of the time. But when you've been jumping from interview to interview all day, you're bound to make some mistakes. Uh, it's pretty normal to lack enough experience when it comes to having composure. But being young isn't an excuse. They should understand that it's not okay to be rude. Role models must behave perfectly all the time. Well, let me ask you a random question, Angry Tomato. What do you think of child labor? It's the most horrible thing in the entire world, right? It robs children from childhood, and we know how detrimental this could be to a brain that hasn't fully developed. Yet when a child says, hey guys, I genuinely love acting and want to pursue this career for the rest of my life. Somehow, we expect the second kid to do a perfect job while maintaining their public image while going through puberty, while feeling confused, and having uncontrollable voice cracks. How hard is it to keep your voice from sounding as deep as it really is? Uh, what? As deep as it really is? <laughs> what? King of voice cracks. I'm just in awe when I'm watching her. Uh, could you keep the notes on the poor? <laughs> Let's take Millie for instance. People describe her as being annoying or uneducated. I'll try to explain this point using only video clips. Here you go. Do you think that over time windmills do need some type of servicing or do you think that the, with proper design that it could be fairly service free? I, I, think, I think fairly service free to be honest. Just get that wind on them and just, yeah. I just actually don't understand the question. <laughs> do you think the planet is flat? <gasps> I was watching a conspiracy. Guys, there are so many facts that it's flat. I mean, think about it. Like, think about it. Like, Where does Millie Bob Brown go, to, go school? to school? All right. <laughs> what? What? School, school does Finn Wolfhard go to? Good question. <laughs> what? Asking Millie about her opinion on flat earth is like asking Stephen Hawking to break dance. You're gonna be disappointed. Obviously, some people are not qualified to do certain things, and I think Millie will understand that when she gets older. But in the meantime, don't expect her to give you answers about uh, quantum physics theories. 
she's a talented actor indeed, but I don't know if you've heard, humans are better off sticking to what they're good at. Between all the cast, Millie has endured the biggest hits over the years. Until this day, she takes every opportunity to spread awareness on cyberbullying and her experience with massive internet hate. I don't hide the fact that there is cyberbullying going on on social media. Mm -hmm. So as much as I say, oh, I love, you know, social media, it mm -hmm. can be a really dark place for some people. I'm disgusted that people bully online and the fact is, I would never do so. I get bullied online all the time. The worst part is that all this was because of some silly things that have been blown out of proportions. I can't imagine the psychological toll that it takes to handle all of this stress as a child. Even me, a tough, buff, grown-up man who does animation, can't handle some of the stress that comes with uploading YouTube videos sometimes. So hats off to Millie for staying sane after all what she has gone through. And this phenomenon is not new. Numerous celebrities did questionable things when they were young and received a lot of backlash. You're too young to be smoking pot and, you know, pee-peeing in buckets and driving up and down the, the highway fast. What are you doing? What are you doing? I get that it's fun to make memes and cringe on whatever young celebrities are doing, but let's cut them some slack. It's not worth it. They're more likely to grow up, adjust, and fix whatever mistakes they have made. And the reason why I'm so passionate about this topic is that I made terrible mistakes when I was younger. But I only needed to apologize to my parents or a couple of friends. That would be the end of the story. But when you're a star, you can't just say sorry to your parents and call it a day. You need to apologize to millions of people who are looking up to you. And if you're not careful, the smallest mistake could mean the end of your career. Some people think that acting is all fun. You show up on set and say a bunch of lies. I... But in reality, these kids go through a lot of focus and dedication. Most of it's hard work. I was telling someone the other day, like, even if I hadn't whatever made it or gotten a show or gotten anything, I still would have been working just as hard. Like, I, I think that's the thing that I pride myself is that, like, I'm a genuine hard worker, like, no matter what I do. You're super motivated and determined at work. And I always see that you do such a great job and you're always super focused. And I always aspire to be like that. Like, make sure that I work as hard as possible because you're such a hard worker. I'll do. Mm -hmm. oh, man. You must be super mature to think about hard work and constantly worrying about your career. When I was a kid, my biggest worry was cutting my finger from rolling up the car window. <laughs> Look, aside from the jokes, we are living in the most confusing era of history. Almost all the suffering that we endure today is because there's a difference between the pace of change in society and our evolution. For thousands of years, our goal was to look for food by day and do some naughty things by night. That was all. But now, it's a whole different story. And we're too slow to keep up. Even just a hundred years ago, the idea of a child becoming a millionaire on their own was unheard of. Imagine your future kid making more money than you receiving an Oscar and a Nobel Prize at the same time, unlike you, the father, who will be sitting at home eating Cheetos and continuing to be ugly and fat. I will say one thing is this season is, is darker. Would you say because you guys are getting older, you can kind of take it in, mm. in a darker direction? Yeah. Really, yeah. You're dealing with the hardest monster yet, puberty. <laughs> Being a successful kid is not necessarily a bad thing. But there's no textbook on what to do if your millionaire child is working too much. <laughs> Not only that, your future grandkid will come out of the womb and instead of crying, he will scream at the nurse and teach her how to do a better job. <laughs> if you forget everything I said in this video, I want you to remember this. When David Harbour was asked about Millie, he said, I think the developing mind of someone who gets this famous is an extremely difficult thing to navigate and I hope that she gets the help that she needs. Because the pitfalls are very deep in terms of this Instagram generation of constantly wanting to get likes. The fact that someone with 24 million followers is thinking about their persona to the world at 14 is terrifying to me. My hope is that she remains grounded and protected as much as possible. His quote sums up my thoughts perfectly, because we've seen how terribly wrong this could go with other kids, so parents have an essential role in not letting greed or ego get into their child's head 
And we, the internet, should also forgive their minor mistakes and hope that they'll correct them when they grow up. That sounds amazing! This video took over 110 hours of work and I'm slowly realizing that it's impossible for me to keep doing this alone. That's why I need your help. If you have experience in Illustrator, After Effects, or just editing memes, please don't be shy to send me your portfolio. Working with me is fun, according to my mom. I wanna thank all my patrons who believed in me. This could not have been possible without you, and especially those three crazy people who chose the God tier. Cause until I figure out the sponsors, Patreon is the most important source that keeps these expensive animations flowing. So if you got two extra bucks lying around somewhere, I would very much appreciate you helping out a lonely banana.